In this workshop, we are going to create the geometry of S as zero and arrow file and domain for safety analysis. We'll create hexa mesh for same arrow file in second part of the course. For safety analysis, you can go through my other courses on Udemy. Here you will learn to create arrow file geometry and the flow domain around it. It's a generic process and is applicable on the any other type of the arrow file. For this, we will process these coordinates in the Excel in particular format, which is required by the ICM CFD. We will use formatted point data option in the ICM CFD to import these coordinates. We will use Notepad++ to save these coordinates in text format or in the data format with the extension .txt or .dat. And you can download the Notepad++, it's a free to download. And it's better to use than the notepad, simple notepad. Now, before going to model this arrow file in domain in the ICM CFD, let me give you some background about this arrow file. Before this arrow file series, mostly they use the Naka series arrow files for the wind turbine applications, but they had the, some problem. For example, their lift coefficient will increase this with the angle of attack and the flow velocity, which is good for the aeroplanes. But for the wind turbines, they must have the maximum lift coefficient in the some particular range of the angle of attacks. And secondly, it should be designed for the low speeds because on the, on the wind turbines in the field, we will maximum we can, we can get the velocities ranging from 2 meter per second to the 10 meter per second or 15 meter per second. But for aircraft, you can accelerate the aircraft with the help of the engines, which is not possible in the wind turbines. So they, they have the low maximum lift coefficient, but it's a particularly is the constant over the wide range of the angle of attacks. And secondly, they should be insensitive to the roughness. With roughness, they should not increase the or decrease the lift coefficient. And third thing is that they must have the low profile drag. The low profile drag is uh, connected to the shape of the arrow file. Therefore, they designed the S800 series there are total 35 arrow files in this series and some of arrow files are the thin, some of arrow files are the thick. This particular arrow file which is S089 is 21% thick and it's a laminar flow arrow file designed for the horizontal axis wind turbines and there are some of the arrow files which are designed for the for the vertical axis wind turbines which you can see here. For the vertical axis wind turbine, they designed the DU06W200 and also they, you can use the NACA0018 and for the horizontal axis wind turbines, they have the NACA64618 and sometimes they also use the NACA4412 and then special arrow files DU93W210, DU91250, 300, 350. So these arrow files you can get from this Excel sheet which I'm going to provide you with this course also. And the one of the particular example is an NREL phase six, which is 10 meter diameter horizontal axis wind turbine. It's a produ producing the 20 kilowatt and using the S809 arrow file as a primary arrow file at the 75% of the spin location for the base and the tip. They have the different arrow file, but it's of the same series and uh, it's uh, Base start from 20% of the span. That is the length of the blade. And uh, this wind turbine is operating at the 7 meter per second, rotating at the 72 RPM. And if you look at the Naka00, Naka4412, and the S809 arrow file from the shape profile, you can observe here. And you can observe here that the lift coefficient is increasing with the angle of attack for the Naka4412, but for the S0, S a09 is almost constant at the higher angle of attacks from the starting from 5 up to 15 or 18. It's almost constant value, which is required by the wind turbine applications and therefore they designed this aerofile.